everyone, I'm Laura Gale Locke with your City 7 News Now update. Wichita police are launching a very thorough study into the recent shooting in Old Town in which the shooter was killed and four others were injured. We have Chief Tom Stoltz here with us today. Chief, thanks for being here. You're welcome. Well, I understand that there's a different level of steps and processes you guys are going to go through. Will you take me through what you guys are going to do? After the event of this past week, uh, the police department uh, will uh, go through several steps that we do in a lot of neighborhoods around the city historically. Uh, we will go in uh, and do what, uh, uh, a thorough environmental scan of the area. Uh, we'll look at traffic flows and capacities of clubs, um, the number of patrons that frequent uh, Old Town all times of day and night, uh, and try to get a good grip on uh, environmentally what situation is down there. Uh, after that, we will do uh, uh, data analysis of the area, and that's already started. Uh, we'll look at crime uh, all over by time of day, day of week, month of the year, um, exact locations where crime is happening and try to get some kind of assessment to determine if, if there is indeed uh, a problem that needs to be addressed. At the same time that that is going on, we'll talk to uh, Old Town residents, we'll talk to the Old Town Association, we'll talk to all club and bar owners down there and all business owners down there to get perceptions of what uh, they feel as far as uh, safety and anything that uh, police can do or government can do to make the situation better. Uh, so that's all happens at the same time. So after we do the environmental scan and after we do the analysis, then we come up with a multifaceted comprehensive plan of action which will make uh, that area as safe as we can possibly make it. And uh, we'll hopefully be ready for a plan within 30 to 60 days. Uh, when we incorporate the plan, we have performance measures built in to determine whether we're having an impact or not. And then it's fairly standard that we'll review that at 90 days, 180 days, and then we'll review it in a year. And uh, we'll determine whether we're making performance measures. We'll go back and resurvey people. Uh, we'll look at crime analysis, and we'll determine uh, if we have the best safety that we can, that we can provide for that area. Um, so that, that's kind of the plan of action right now. And we do this uh, frequently. It's, uh, it's Old Town's turn, but we've done it all over the city uh, in various neighborhoods. Uh, and, and we'll go through the exercise here as well. I want to make sure I have the timeline right. Um, for the first part, the environmental scan and that data analysis, how long will that take? We think it's going to take, uh, for example, I've got an association meeting scheduled for March 28th. Uh, we're scheduling uh, meetings with the clubs right now, but the environmental scan and the analysis, hopefully no more than 30 to 45 days. Then we'll compile a plan, hopefully kick that off within uh, 60 days. Mm -hmm. When you're meeting with the merchants, are you going to be giving them any immediate safety tips or things sure. that they should do? We'll do two things there. We'll, first of all, we'll answer any questions that they have regarding the event from the past weekend to the best detail that we can put out um, and answer. There's a lot of rumors flying about that, so we'll, we'll, that's part of the reason we try to meet with neighborhoods and stakeholders is to answer any questions about that immediate incident. Then the second thing we'll do is talk about immediate things that we might do to improve and enhance safety. And then thirdly and most importantly, what we want to look at is a long-term kind of plan, uh, things that we can incorporate all of us together, the businesses, uh, police, uh, public works, any, any city entity that has any role down there that we can incorporate to make uh, the, the area safe and, 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 and um, uh, navigable uh, and we're make, make it a place where people want to go. Okay. If anybody out there is wondering, is Old Town safe, what would your response be? I, I think the numbers are going to show us, but uh, on first blush going in, I think that Old Town is as safe as anywhere else in the city. Uh, I think that the numbers might show us that of certain hours, and I really believe, I think our problem hour is going to be 1.30 to 2.30 a.m. down there. I think maybe we have some issues there that we're going to have to address, and we can do that. We can do it through business practice, we can do it through law enforcement presence, and we can do it through some maybe some ordinance adjustment. But I think that the numbers are going to show us that with the number of businesses down there, the number of residents, the amount of clientele that shows up down there, I think it's as safe as anywhere else in the city. And one thing that people should probably be reminded of is that police were down there when the shooting took place. That, that's correct. We had uh, officers, and, and we do every weekend. Uh, 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 there are off-duty officers that are employed by Old Town Association that work down there. They're in full uniform. Uh, we'll put horses down there, and we always have some kind of, just because of the amount of people down there, we'll always have some kind of law enforcement contingency down there. And that was the case Friday night. We had uh, off-duty officers and some on-duty officers 
in that immediate area, uh, the events still happen, and unfortunately, no matter how you plan and how you uh, strategize, um, if there is an isolated incident or an unusual incident, then uh, it's going to happen, and that's unfortunate. And we have to then be trained and ready to react to that appropriately to make sure that there's no further damage, no further injury, and that citizens are safe. So uh, we'll, we'll talk about as we go through this, particularly with the Old Town residents, the, the concept of personal safety has to be adhered to at all times when you're in any city in America or, or any county in America. Um, and, and so as people go to Old Town this weekend, we'd expect just be aware of your surroundings. Uh, don't be paranoid, but be aware of your surroundings. Uh, remove valuables from your vehicle, put it in the trunk of your car. Just uh, be watching as you walk in and out of businesses. And that's our advice any time of day or night in any place of the city, uh, is just to be aware of personal surroundings. So okay. that's, that's the message we'll be putting out. Some good advice. Okay. And if you would, um, just update us on the latest with the investigation. Uh, okay, we're about five days in now. Um, uh, we are working the investigation with the Kansas Bureau of Investigation. That is a standard operating practice when we have a law enforcement officer or officers involved in uh, uh, events of force uh, that, that lead to fatality. Um, on first blush, as we look at this, uh, it seems like policy and protocol was followed by the officers. Uh, but ultimately, we repackaged the whole case together, and the KBI, along with a, a Wichita detective, will present to the district attorney's office, and that office makes final determination of uh, the amount of force used and whether it was proper or not proper, and, and she'll make that decision over the next few weeks. All right, Chief, thanks so much for being here. We appreciate all the information. Thank you. And thank you for watching the City 7 News Now Update.